Hello and welcome back to P4G. It's been quite some time since we've dealt with some madness. So, last time I remember we were... Going through... Jumi. Yes, I am getting my notes together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see. Yeah. So, give me two seconds while I get my notes properly aligned. Spend time talking with Dojima. I feel we're just gonna get a normal route here. Oh, the instant noodles really hit the spot. You know, the rainy season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Is it? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the Midnight Channel. At least it's a kanji. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> I thought you were worried about the rain because of the school camp out. Last time I was excited about the rain, it made me just want to just stay in bed. It's like, oh, hey, I, it's rain, I don't have to go out, yeah, I'm gonna stay right in bed. I don't have to do anything, just stay in bed and get some more sleep. Of course, nature won't allow me to do that. No, oh, get your ass up. Right, it's the first time for you two. You realize the only purpose of the school campout is to develop a love for one's hometown and young people, right? Yeah, they tell us that up front, so? Exactly. Well, you see, the way we supposedly develop that love is by picking up trash off the mountain. Ah, uh, what? Picking up trash? Develop a love my ass. That's slave labor. No, nah, no, nah, what's slave labor? Going to going to a camp that you know nothing about. The school says, oh, you're going to a camp, but they don't tell you exactly what kind of camp it is. They just said you're going to camp. And on top of that, when they mention you're going to camp, they're being so very secretive about it, especially to the students, certain students that didn't really need to be there. It was for troublemakers. A friend of mine and I, we went to this camp all the way out in the mountains. Like, it's called San Luis Obispo. It was a boot camp. Stayed there for a whole week. I got sick of it. Because I was in a different terrain, a different area, and oh my god, what? I've been sick for three. I was sick for like three days. Couldn't go to high school. Couldn't go to school. Yeah, I was in high school at the time, but couldn't go to high school for like three days until basically. It left my body. Oh well. That's 
this one year I will never get back again because I burned down all my speed on that one quote-unquote field trip. Boot camp my ass. Well, the night's kind of fun. We cook our own meals with mess kits and sleep in tents. See, I prefer that kind of tent over... I prefer that kind of camp. <laughs> it's been a while, folks. Bear with me. I prefer that kind of camp over boot camp, okay? The four of us are in the same group. The same group, huh? Does that mean we sleep together at night, too? Dude, yeah, calm down. You wish! Guys and girls sleep in different tents! I'm warning you, if you leave your tent at night, you'll be expelled on the spot. By who? You or... Yeah, that's why. Man, this gets worse and worse. I thought it was going to be fun. Because Yuki don't mind. Chie does. It's only for one night and we've disbanded before noon the next day. It doesn't last very long. I really wish. When that happened, we could easily just like hop right back on that bus, roll the trip back. So, oh, hey, um, we made it back. What happened? Um, we changed our minds. I would have gladly taken up the rest of the week in school over being up there in San Luis Obispo. San Luis Obispo was the pits. Oh, we did have some fun at the river before going home last year. Of course. That was when I was 17. 18, when we had a senior field trip, we went to Catalina Island. That was fun. That was enjoyable. Do they let you go swimming? I also remember senior field trip. I was waiting in the water, and all of a sudden... My ass got flung right out the water. Thankfully, the fact that I tried to basically keep myself afloat the entire time... I didn't get flung right into the sea. The sea just yeeted me right out. I think so. There's always someone who takes a dip, although we didn't. I see. So you can swim in the river. Uh huh. I see where he's going with this. I like where he's going with this. Hey, the guy. Did you know this week is health week? And you're not a part of the Student Health Association. In other words, you're a lazy bum. I hate good for nothing kids like you. So I'm signing you up to take the place of a sick member. Uh, wait. That's not fair. Quiet, you. I don't know what school's like for you big seasons. But here, it's every student's duty to pitch in. Don't tell me you're not enough of a man to do something this easy. Fine, I'll do it. I see, I see. They go straight to the infirmary right now. They should be expecting you since I already told them you do it this way. Fuck you too. Um, good luck. Yeah, yeah. I, I hate you. I really hate you. Okay. Well, Gun Code was a transfer student, right? Did you get hurt or something? No. no. I'm a replacement. I'm your stand in. You told them that you've been sent here to replace a sick member. Oh, thank goodness we were running low on people. We need 
need to check around the school to see if anyone needs help, but someone has to stay and watch this room. Okay, okay, would you mind staying here and dealing with anyone that stops by? No touch and medicine, of course. If someone who's hurt shows up, use the first aid kit. The other things you'd have to worry about are salesmen and phone calls. Pretty uncommon, though. Student Health Association split up throughout the school. Someone's here. Hello, I'm Kitao from Santo Pharmaceuticals. Uh, hello. Mm -hmm. Are there any adults here? Uh, could you deliver a message for me then? Uh, sure. Your school pays an order for goals, but I need to know if the order can wait until the month after next. Give my regards to your teacher. Help, anything happen? You told her that a representative from the pharmaceutical company came. Oh! We should have called Sensei, call him back. Do you remember his name? I did, um. said his Tao? Make sure. Tell from Sando. Season's just about here. Isn't it a little early? Once it starts, it'll be raining every night. We'll have to keep a constant eye on the midnight channel. Again. Crap, I didn't even think of that. Well, so it goes. <laughs> let me let me skip all this because I already know. Do this again. I don't have to read this again because I already read it. I'm Kitao from Santo. Okay, Kitao from Santo. Kitao from Santo. Wait until the month after next. Santa. Yeah, coming 
two months. I contact them immediately. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna correct that information. I read that wrong. Knowledge increase, expression increase. There we go. Alright, let's discuss what we found. While we went around school. Okay, group one? Oh, that's right, you went along. Yeah, since Kanishi isn't here. Oh yeah, Kanishi Kuhn. I can't help but after what happened. Yeah, poor thing, so you just have to do his part too. Hey, guys. I feel sorry I'm late. No, it's okay. You don't have to come really helping out in your parents' store's hard work, right? If placements, so don't worry. I don't want to be the only one. Well, you can help go and clean up this room then. We report to the teacher, so why don't you clean up the bowl and go home, okay? Well, goodbye! I'm Kanish first here. You know Saki. I I'm her brother. You're friends with Hanamura, right? I hate him and you too. Can I go home now? No, you help me clean. I have to help out at home. It's a mess, you understand. You can go home after you help. Okay, I'll do the shells. Can you hand me a rag? You did your part in health and student health association as ordered. The other members didn't return home, so you decided to go home. So, oh hell no! No, you do your part, bitch. Can I go home now? No. Welcome home. It's like, can I go home now? No, bitch. You help. <laughs> you showed up. You help. I said, I'm leaving. Help me leave. Okay. Grab a rag. Angel, Archangel, Principality, Power. I feel better. You spent a precious moment with Nanako. Rainy day. It's June already, eh? Well, good news. Tatsumi Kun from the first year back with us, so try a sec. Good examples. I know it's the rainy season, and you may not be very motivated, but let's keep our spirits up together, okay? Anyway, I really hate this weather since I can't go out and exercise. But watching sports on TV isn't bad, either. I saw the Hekendai competition the other day. They do beautiful moves with a delicate sense of balance, so I can see why men would be afraid to try it. <laughs> Wow, I'm amazed that you knew that girl. But you should ask me if you have questions. You can coach on, not him. Bounce beam is Hekindai in Japanese. I bet when you kids hear the word beam, you for you think about lasers or something, but it refers to the timber or beam. And balancing on a wood beam is mighty tricky. Boom! The sport of the bounce beam's board. Here's my guy, Goku. Thank you. It's like, what is he doing? His expression is crazy. He learns how to smile. It's like... It's 
It's like he he wears a scowl the entire time, but it's like his expression gets better because he does this. He smiles. Hey, guess what I just heard? What? When they're sitting in back of you, it's like a squeeze play. What? What? What are you talking about, dude? Sitting. A girl, obviously. Oh. What? Sorry, I got it ahead of myself. What I mean is. Y yeah, please. Could you slow down so I can understand you? I'm talking about how when there's a girl sitting behind you on a motorcycle, they press right up against your back. Uh, yeah. What's wrong with that? A motorcycle. Man, you're a lot thicker than I thought. Anyway. Get to the point, man! I think motorcycles are the hot new thing for guys now. Girls like guys who spend time outdoors, right? Uh-huh. So I got you this. Wanna get your license with me, partner? It's a manual for getting a motorcycle license. Now you can become a writer. Serious. Well, I can't afford anything bigger than a scooter on my budget, but at least that'll let us get to new places. Don't you think we deserve that much, seeing as how we're investigating the case? Yes, guys, same series, brothers. Senpai, hey, about the camping trip. Yo. You guys busy right now? No. Kinda. We're talking about motorcycles. Motorcycles? You gonna go stomp a gang? If you're bringing a war, I'll help. Dude, um, just talking about getting one. No, we're not bringing a war. What's that mean anyway? Throw down. That's what it means. Scrap. Battle. Kicking ass. Ticking names. We're just talking about getting motorcycle licenses. Licenses? You guys don't have yours? The first for me, man. First for me, Tommy. Huh? No way. Don't tell me you already. It's Kanji, man. Nah, I'm still 15 and all. What? Then why'd you say it like that? Dude. Man, that reminds me. I'm surprised you picked a fight with that biker gang. How'd you chase after them? You ran after them? Eh, bike's all I need for that. In any case, we can't let you in on our up-close-and-personal plan. Up-close-and-personal? What does that mean? Keep it down. Like I was telling this guy, what a guy needs nowadays to be a big man is first a motorcycle. And then, and then, a girlfriend. A girlfriend. A girlfriend. Tell me more. Now that's my partner. All right then. <laughs> You guys gonna get licensed for the big stuff? I mean, I know I came in late here, but if you're talking about taking a girl on a bike, you gotta be seating too, man. That ain't allowed on a scooter. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. Damn it. Shut up, this'll work out. You okay? As long as we have a motorcycle, the girls will come running. That's all the advantage we'll need. Have you seen Project Echo? Have you seen Dirty Pear? Have you seen Cobra the Space Adventure? Kamen Rider? Now 
listen carefully. The reason we don't have girlfriends is because we're stuck here in this town waiting to meet someone. Um, that's the reason? This place is so tiny, it's no wonder we can't find one. We got girls right in front of us. We, we got two back there and two working beside us. Come on now. It doesn't matter if it's only a scooter. Some kind of motorcycle is just the ticket for us to get some chicks. Then, later on, we can get a bigger motorcycle. And that's when the up-close-and-personal plan really starts. We're gonna get a Yamaha for a Humber. Up-close-and-personal. Kawasaki. Plus, you know, you and me have more of a city boy thing going on. Mm. If we're serious about this, we've got to expand our horizons to a bigger town. We gotta think Persona 5, man! Who knows? Persona 6. We gotta take the initiative. There's no time to wait for a train that only leaves every so often each day. That's me and buses. I gotta take the initiative. We'll roar up on our motorcycles like the badasses we are, and when the chicks come up, we'll play it cool. You sure about that? Okay, so who gets who gets to be rider one? And who gets to be rider two? The pheromones dripping off of us will bring them around in no time. Oh God, are you talking about swag, dog? What that feral zone? Swag, dude, swag. Pheromone. No, we're not going to a cat house, you <laughs> idiot. I'm talking about pheromones. <laughs> <laughs> what the? My research shows that a motorcycle is the number one surefire way to increase a man's pheromones. Fifteen years old, people. Minor. Fifteen years old. Pheromones. Yeah, now you're getting it. Oh, boy, are you getting it? Dude, that's how a perv would react. Yo, chill, man. Yo, chill, chill. This is Kanji we're talking about. He's new around here. Don't, don't worry. He's new. You'll, you'll get him. What'd you say? Fine. Then I'm in too. Get ready for Kanji Tatsumi to show his manhood to these chicks. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Kanji Kun. Down, down, down. Bring it down a bit. I already told you, you can't. Anyway, don't tell anyone about this, got it? Kanji, yeah, yeah. Kanji, do, do. My, my, my man. If other guys try to copy us, it'll end up diluting our pheromones. What? <laughs> um, okay. So, partner. Make sure you talk to your uncle about getting a license, okay? Huh? Got it. Not you. I don't even know your uncle. <laughs> Just let him in on it, man. I'm serious about this. Yeah, I'm serious about this too. Let him in on it. If we have motorcycles, we can go all over. It'll be fun! All over where? Inaba? It's true that with a motorcycle, your range of activities will somewhat increase. Okay. Man, somewhere out there, the best days of our youth are ahead of us. It's called Initial D, man! Yeah, I'm with you on that one. Don't worry. Should you try consulting Dojima about the motorcycle tonight? You should. Classes have ended for today. Will someone else appear on the Midnight Channel when it rains again? You've no choice but to wait and see.
But the one, the one question that remains. Is this motherfucker going to get laid? That's the real question. And when you think about it, the question remains when it is going to happen and if it will ever happen. Probably New Game Plus, which I'm really not going to try doing New Game Plus. Unless if I'm going to do is just um, play out my old save and just increase what's already there, then fine. I want to be a meteorologist when I get older. Want me to give you a weather forecast? It's going to be like this all week. I'm always right. No, you aren't, dear. No, you aren't. You know what? Since we aren't not going out weird, we're just gonna go. Yeah, and I like you. Yeah, well, I don't like you either. <laughs> so, what do you mean? Like I said, I don't like you either. I want things to go well with the person I like. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yo. Ah, you're back. Hi there. Yo. You want some meal too? 
Fair warning, it's from the supermarket. Well, excuse me. Do. Adachi, there, there's a thing called tact in this household. Just, just let you know. It's delicious, though. I can't believe it was on sale. I can't believe it's not butter. Sorry, but this guy eats instant noodles every day. That constant slurping got on my nerves, so I called him here. You sure about that, man? Uh, okay, all right. You don't have to bluff like that. You just wanted to eat dinner with a coworker, right? Don't be stupid. Okay, yeah, you're right. I just wanted you to come by. But Il was a great choice. Nanako Chan loved it at least. I'd say she's eerily proud of her daddy. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Did my joke slip away? It isn't you, after all. Oh, God, stop, 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 stop. You're pushing it. Please, stop. Just eat your dinner. Thank you. Y yes, sir. Nanako Chan's such a good girl, though. She went straight to do her homework once her plate was clean. It's not every day you get to eat eel. You'd think she would have spent some more time savoring it. You think that because you slack off too much. You should follow her example. Mm. <clears throat> Way to hit where it hurts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, yes. You need to consult Dojima about getting a motorcycle license. What's the matter? I, I'm fine with getting a motorcycle. A motorcycle? Yeah. You mean a scooter? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Kids your age can ride those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know, though. Come on, don't be a spoiled sport. It's no surprise he once went out here. Plus, you know, I work at, I work over at the daycare center, and I could probably get more done if I was, you know, riding out and about, you know. I understand how you feel, since I'm from the city myself. The trains don't run that often, and walking around everywhere is pretty inconvenient, isn't it? Oh, it's a hassle. Right? It's criminal. You say that, but... You still gotta deal with traffic. That reminds me, I remember you telling me something once, Dojima-san. About some of the reckless things you did on your motorcycle when you were young. You thought you were... Takashi Hongo. You moron. Think before you talk. And once you're done eating, hurry and... Ugh. Ring, 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 ring. Phone call, phone call. It's me. Hmm. All right. We'll be there soon. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Adachi, you're the one in charge of that file, right? File? Oh. Did that suspicious guy show up again? Mm. If you keep your mouth shut, we're going back. Get in the car. Back? Eel into the station? But I haven't had my eel liver soup yet. You could have just ate while you were on the go. Never mind. Where'd you get my. <laughs> About this license, did you decide on this yourself? N no one talked you into it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I know it's hard without a way to get around, but two wheeled vehicles can be dangerous. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand that. I'll be careful with it. I'm sure I can trust you to do that, but allowing you to get one is another thing. He seems troubled. Don't give me that face. I know you're serious about this. Okay, then... I just want one just so I can get around after school. First, you need a license. We can talk about this again when you have one. Well then, sorry to dump this on you, but I need you to look after the house. Yeah, of course. Man, I can't believe... Go on a guy! Yosuke. Yo, it's me. Going to guy. What's your devil, man? I 
go with your uncle. I've been on the edge of my seat thinking about it. Seriously? Then let's go get ours as soon as we can. What? I gotta hit the books. Let's make sure we both pass together. Okay. Right, right. Damn. <laughs> this guy must really want a motorcycle license. You promised to go to the exam site with him tomorrow. You wonder about the suspicious guy Adachi mentioned. But there's no way to find out more about it for now. You should review the manual Yosuke gave you and study for the license exam. Whoop. He seems sleepy. I went to bed, but little details kept plugging me. So I end up again to check the manual never ended. And I'm getting almost no sleep at all. Well, we're gonna do this. Let's pass on first try. How are you feeling? I suppose it'll be a breeze. Yeah, now that's my partner. I see you haven't forgotten about our up, up close and personal plan. Well, let's make sure we're not late to the exam. We'll leave as soon as school's out. Cool. And after school. You promised Yosuke that you would go get your license with him after school. You should get going. You take the license exam with Yosuke? Answer seem to be flowing from your hand. You succeeded in passing the exam, because everything else just don't really matter. You obtain a scooter license. Yeah. <laughs> we passed on the first try, just like we planned. Actually, it was pretty easy. I might have studied a little too hard. A little too hard. Oh! Hi. Hi. Are you on duty? We just stopped by to get gas and, well, to take care of some minor business. Where did you guys go? Oh, we have. Uh, get our license. Already? It's just a written test to get a scooter license, but still, I wasn't expecting you to pass so soon. Dude, you've seen what I do up in my room, man. Oh, you hear that? That was me doing my work, man. Oh, well. Looks like I'd better think of a way to convince my sister. Uh, and then you're okay with that. I can't say no now that you've gotten your license. Yeah, but I want to make sure we cool and everything. Your enthusiasm is catching. Oh, okay, cool. Yes, you got the okay. I need to head home and read through the catalog. C catalog? Well, see you tomorrow. Yeah. Mind if I borrow you a sec before you head back home? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Hey, Adachi. Get your dumb ass over here! Bring the Fritos! I just finished filling it up. Sorry for dragging you into this. What the hell is this? This is my scooter. Your scooter? I had it fixed at the shop. It may be old, but it runs pretty well. Cool, cool, cool. I came to put gas in it, but I wasn't expecting to hand it over today, too. Oh, what? I'm letting you have it. Yeah. Onk. This is a nice bike. 
You can tell? Yeah. Local shops don't carry twist grips, so I had one of the repair guys at work help me out with it in secret. Uh, don't tell anyone that, okay? What? Kojima's passion for the scooter is obvious. You're always so strict at the station, but you're a cool dad inside, huh? Shut up, Adachi. He really is cool. You always yell at me. Still, I wish we had a sleep means of transportation like that. Who knows when that suspicious guy will show up again? Hasn't he been using professional quality cameras to take pictures of people's houses from the Amagi Inn to around here? What? It looks like he knows the back streets, too, so a car won't be. Would you stop blabbering like that? Go back to the car. Thanks for the hit, man. Well, anyway. Yeah? I was around your age when I got my license, too. I took the test behind my parents' back. When my dad caught me riding a scooter later on, he gave me a good thrashing. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember the ass when I got from that. Don't tell Nanako about that, okay? I won't. Just chuckling mischievously. Since I've already given the okay, I won't bug you about traffic laws. Just be safe when you're riding it. No guarantees, but okay. You do that, and I'll look the other way if you decide to ride it out of town. Can you promise me? Yep. Good. I'll hold you to that. Please don't hold me to that. You receive Dojima Scooter! As you ride around and get a feel for the local roads, you'll be able to go to more places. I'm going to ride. I'm going to take a long ride. You don't have a feel for the place yet, nor the courage. So I'll just ride around the neighborhood. Take a scooter. What, what did I just say? After getting completely lost, you reach the station. How'd you get completely lost? But you feel as if you're starting to get a feel for the place. You'll need to ride around a little more to get better clean with you. Courage increase. Well, safe to say that's what it does. Welcome back. They call me Hongo Takashi. Great vegetables. See what your hard work gets you? Let's do it again, big bro. To return back home. Well, plain seedlings, huh? It's been a while since I last did anything like this. Tomato seed. I'm excited to see them come in. Mm. I hope tons of veggies grow. Oh, don't worry, I got them in stock. Mm. 
go. Hello, this is Yukiko. I'm sorry for calling you so late, but would you like to go to would you like to go inside the TV tomorrow? We practice enough. I'm sure we can be prepared for anything. Please consider it. You thought about exploring the TV world tomorrow. I have a book to read. It's a collection of illustrated sample conversations for many common situations from Ohio to Ayasumi. You wonder how often this will actually be useful while living in Iniba. It helps. Yo! So. Continue to kick things, dear. You continue to kick things. <laughs> you have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. You have obtained a license, but you still aren't familiar with the town. You should ride. You should take your scooter for a ride today. After getting lost, you reach the hill overlooking town, but you feel as if you've gotten a very good feel for the place. If you ride around a little more, you'll be completely familiar with the area. Three. Church and Crazy. Welcome home! Yeah. There's some choco flakes chilling on the lowest shelf. You 
shouldn't ride it at night. God damn it. Take some, you know, fresh walk outside. I'm about to go home now. I was practicing my vocal exercise and didn't last time. Oh yeah, do you have time? Why don't we chat until my bus comes? Yumi seems bored. She might appreciate it if you talk with her. If you chat with Kitchi, the person on the sun, you two might get along well. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. He seems happy. Was your midterm? Don't tell me you failed. When clubs have failing students, Mr. Morocco comes and harasses them. It makes things hard for everybody. If you think of your textbooks as scripts, studying isn't so bad. Just make up the story in your head as you go along and enjoy the subject. It's easy. Good idea. Right? Once you get the hang of it, the rest is simple. Now that you know, I expect you to be the top of the school. Work hard. Well, I sound confident, but I'm actually not very good at math. Don't worry. I suck at algebra. Oh. That's the only time I got held back in, um, in, in high school. It was with algebra. But I had to pass because of proficiency let you graduate unless you pass all the parts of proficiency. English, no problem for me. And I had an elective, so that passed. But the only thing I had to pass was math. So I took summer school one time. That's all I needed to do. I just didn't understand what the hell everything meant in algebra because nobody didn't re really sat, up, sat us down and just explained it to us. And I mean all of us. Because you know in high school, they don't tell you shit. They expect you to know, but you don't know. The layers don't make any sense in all those symbols. It all comes down to rope memorization. See what I mean? She knows. You made small talk with Yumi. You feel your relationship with Yumi has grown deeper. And you also feel it's going to become closer. <laughs> uh, sorry, but I have to be going home now. Oh yeah, you want this? Um, can Blue? you take this? Blue pepper chips. I hear it's popular. If you're hungry, eat this. Bus coming. Good night then. Good night. She saw Yumi off and went home. Another time you have to wait. So guess what? We got a ride. Macho. Exquisite praise of masculinity. Catching bugs. Forever Macho. Yes. Catching bugs. Sure. 100 ghost stories. Sure, why the hell not?
that way. Can I talk to you? Are you free? Uh, what is it? Uh, it's nice of you and a man like you to spend time with an old lady like making this one wax. You know what a wedding dance is? Uh, perfect. Oh, wow, well, it's very unknown in someone that's young as you. When a woman gets married, she wears a veil, I told you. It prevents demons from making her grow horns after the wedding. What? My mother-in-law insisted that I wear one. Outrageous is that you even concerned about wearing one, she said. She always did what she wanted in life. I'm not joking. She really didn't like me at all. Not at all. Anyway, I refused to wear a veil, and we ended up getting into a shouting match during the wedding ceremony. No, what? And before I knew it, here I am, just as old as she was, shouting and getting angry at everybody. I'm starting to regret it. I say my horns finally fell out or something, wouldn't you? Anyway, I thought I'd hang some new horns above my head as a symbol of how I'm turning my outer horn life around. I tell visitors, oh yeah, but those are the horns I grew after I got married. <laughs> but no, if I sell them. Really? Well, that's nice of you. I'm counting on you to find me some new ones now. Acquire a horn. wants to go out. Sure. Oh god, yes, yes. Y you are one Ame no Uzume. Narcissus. Let's go. She looks happy. Today I want to go to a lively place. I want to go to Junessi. I heard about that place. She wants to go to Juness. So I have to take Marie to Juness. Juness, electronics department. You were dragged here by an excited Marie. Hey. What just happened just now? Time sale? Everyone was rushing to grab something called salad dressing? Whatever it is, must be worth fighting for. Goku, what a coincidence. What are you doing here? Who's this girl? She's so cute. Oh, this is Marie. Huh? Oh, yeah. Marie looks perplexed. Rain-chan, oh, that's a nice name. Oh, I'm Chie Satanaka. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't worry about it. It's cool. I know what this is. Shows a lot of stuff. Oh, you came to look at the TV too? Yeah, I want one to still have it replaced our old one. Whatever. I don't want one. I, I don't, but, but... Don't worry about it. Like, maybe can you turn to Star Scandals? So you do want one. I said no. I was just uh, wondering how you're supposed to watch it. Marie seems interested in the TV. So, how do you watch it? You explained to Marie how to use a T- Oh, dear Lord, Marie. Oh, child, you, you poor, poor thing. You don't know how to use a TV. Oh. Just damn girl <laughs> Don't know how to use it Just damn Huh? Are you one of those people who doesn't watch TV? That's right. There isn't one in the room. Really? Well, you must have super strict parents. Girl, I don't think I could stand it. I you about come fu noises? <laughs> Oh, but there's no electric, electric, well, tweets in that room. Electricity. 
On top of the nose, you saw one of those electric outlets. Ele electric outlets? There's nothing to do in there. Hey, wait, Marie Chan, you don't have electricity in your room? She apparently doesn't. <laughs> Junez, food court. You came with Marie and Chie. Oh, that was the good stuff. Satisfaction. Man, really, I haven't had the steak here in a while, but it's really not all that bad. Mm. Ray Chan, you haven't eaten at all. You too, Goku. You gotta eat if you want to grow up big and strong. <laughs> you eat too fast. You're gonna be fat one day. I didn't need to hear that. Oh. I'll go get us some drinks. Oh, and he's on my... It's all good. Just... <coughs> There's a lot of people at this June-ass place. Why? Don't they have anything else to do? They, they have TVs. They should be watching them instead of wasting time here. Uh, here. Oh. I want soda. No, you just had when you'll have to wait. Don't you have to go to the bathroom? I want it, I want it. I said no, you'll rot your teeth. Oh, man. Marie watches the mother and son. Hey. You think I was ever like that? There's a lot of... I don't remember. Everything. You look serious. I don't remember anything. I just walked. Had nowhere to go. I just ended up in that car. Then Margaret told me to stay there. She also gave me the name Lorraine. It'd be hard to get around without me. Must be rough. I don't know. I can't remember. I can't even remember if it was too. That's okay. It's not like it's troubling me or anything. Despite her casual words, Marie has a concerned expression. But I don't know why, but this town's familiar to me. Do you remember anything else? thing I remember or more like no is that this is mine. Marie's holding an old bamboo comb in her hand. I had this from the start. This is definitely mine. But so what? It doesn't help anything. Marie confided in you about her memory. You feel it has grown deeper. Don't worry, sweetie. We'll we'll get you hooked up. Don't worry about it. You're searching for the truth, right? You should stop. There is no such thing. How stupid. This conversation is boring. Let's talk about something else. Well, you're the one who started it, though. Keep you waiting. Shop was busy, so I ordered and came back here. We'll bring it to us when it's ready. Uh, is it me or is the mood of just having around here? There's no one you two, I ordered for all of us. A long tea for everybody. Yay. See ya. After talking with Marie and Chia, you escort Marie back to the village. Watch TV with Nanako. It's a 
documentary about a young man searching for his real father. She's staring into the TV. Child blank. you love a lot, or always by your side. Doesn't really matter, but truly, we're going to give the most obvious answer. If I play enough RGG, it just tells me one thing. That person is always by your side no matter what. satisfied with the answer. Really? Mommy. Why she leave me? My mom was still here. We all went out together. We picked flowers this summer, Gawa. She talked about some of her memories. You understood her true feelings a little better. Rank up. So you put Nanako to bed and went to your own room. Yep. You have the day off from school today. I wonder when it'll rain at night again. shopping trip. Um, no books, three, three cards and pens, this leaf folder, labels at the stationery department. That was the day in the life of Mr. Uzi right there. <laughs> when I used to do um, volunteer work, this is me. I carried around my um, messenger bag. I had two messages, back, but the one I had when the one I had when I first started was a Marvel vs. Capcom bag. I remember I got it from um, the Comic Expo that used to be downtown in um, at the Shrine Auditorium. Now it's over. It's over by the reef. It's further down. There. So. The one thing I the one thing I remember having was three pins. 
one, and it was it was fun. I need a blue pin, a black pin, and a purple pin. Now the purple pins were very important because I helped with grades. So therefore, it was mandatory I, I use a purple pin. Loose leaf folder. Well, guess what I use that loose leaf folder for? Writing. Labels at the stationery department. Yeah, we didn't have to worry about that. Then the furniture department. I went to look at desks, those, and those lamps. That's all this for. <laughs> Stunning. She's full of energy. I'm thinking of studying seriously for a job license. Though so I haven't decided on exactly which one I'll pursue. I was thinking of trying for all the ones I feel I can earn. I started working at night, you see. Remember the job that you told me about? Thanks to that, I have some money. Huh. Well, if it isn't the manager of the Amagian, or should I say, the manager to be. I see you haven't gone home yet. Well, I can't very well go anywhere until the next bus or train departs. This really is the boonies. Stuck here with nothing to do. Man, country size the dumps. I beg to differ. Turning down Sweet Dale's part of the country like too, huh? <laughs> from some TV station. They wanted to cover the Amaki man. And you said no. Uh, uh -huh. She seems embarrassed. If a news of the weird show is a real journalism. You know that our end was associated with Mr. Yamano's murder, right? They wanted... To make a special call, Hot Springs getting too hot for the Amagis. There's a boring title, Mother Turning in the Wing. But maybe she should have declined. Huh? I mean, if it gets a bad rep, a bad reputation, we lose customers in the end, really, we're close the doors. And I. <sighs> Mutters darkly. Look, you're right. There's no real point in saying things like that. I'm leaving under my own power. My land's in my own hands now. And of course, I want to help everyone. <laughs> you two for being such a patient listener all the time. You can sense Yukiko's iron will. You feel that you understand her even more. Rank up. Yukiko's determination in battle has been enhanced. Now she can cure several ailments during battle. Your ally will cure panic, fear, or rage for you during battle. Well, let's go shopping. First stationary department. Alright, let's go home. You helped Yuki with her shopping and walked home part way together. We don't want to talk about what just happened. You're back. Yep. I went shopping today. Freeze is full of food. Mm -hmm. Dojima's busily turning the paper, newspaper pages. I thought about asking about Nanako's mother. With your current level of expression, you may be able to get something out of him. 
might as well just spend some time and just figure what the hell's going on. Ah, uh. uh, you hear that, boy? Well, hold on a second. Huh? Still have some things I need to do, so I can't spend too much. Money. No, I just want to talk. Seems though she was looking for something. Kids, do you teach them anything about the file data anymore? Sorry. Oh, I wasn't talking about you. Um, can I help? No. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry about it. I was trying to find a old newspaper article falling apart, so I made a copy, but cops in it almost. Do you want me to help? There's a certain case where we don't have a suspect. And since the trail's gone cold, it's about to be buried under newer cases. Hmm. I can't give up this one. has a corner book on his face. This didn't seem to be the time or place to ask him more about it. <clears throat> Hi. Dad? What's wrong? My stomach hurts. Hmm? Huh? Was it something you ate? Call the No, no, wait. This happened before. Same feeling? I don't know. Man. Ugh. Okay, messing we used before. It's... Son of a... Damn it, who's calling at the terminal? Who's calling at the terminal, mate? Dojima here. What's this about? Seal letter for me. From Ichihara, son. When did it come? You forgot? I'm on my way! Dude... Gotta go. Medicine should be in the first aid kit. She's in your hands. What the fuck? He left. He gave Nanako a medicine and put her to bed. A few hours later... <sighs> Dojima, Dojima came back. Seems to be in a bad mood. Go. You're still up? It's late. Go to sleep. But Nanako... Shut up! Now's not the time! Sorry. It, it's something personal. How is Nanako? She's sleeping. Oh, she's sleeping. Good. Thanks. You've been a great heel here. <clears throat> Kojima seems to bear a heavy burden. What's keeping locked up in his heart? You feel your bond with Dojima as it has deepened even further. Rank <laughs> up! Raycob, you stupid son of a bitch. It's pretty late. Got a day. Night. Mm hmm. Say goodnight to Dojima and went to your room. So I was only being concerned, man. You want me to be in such an asshole? Goddamn. Today's the day people begin wearing their summer clothes. Your summer outfit is in your dresser. Obtain the summer yasuo outfit, your summer clothes, and the gag summer outfit. Oh, good lord. You over here, student stuff. Uh, it's finally time to break out the summer wardrobe.
so refreshing. I hope it's not going to get cold again with all this rain. I don't think we'll have to worry about that this year. I hear there's going to be less rain than there was last year. Try saying that in California. Lunchtime. drama after school day. Because nobody cares about... Oh, wait, clown. Right. Good afternoon. Are you all awake today? June, Japan. Can yeah, be pretty tiring thanks to all the humidity and heat. See, California pales in comparison. But don't waste your days away with laziness. Summer is very near, my friends. Speaking of mold, lactic acid, er, no, read, read Speaking of mold, lactic acid bacteria are effective in treating mold. The lactic acid, they produce guards against mold. That's why foods containing lactic acid bacteria don't get very moldy. Your bodies also produce lactic acid when you exercise. All right, Nagai, tell me what kind of exercise builds up lactic acid in the muscles? Anaerobics. That's right, anaerobic exercise like strength training builds up lactic acids in the muscles, especially in your abs. Aerobic exercise such as jogging uses lactic acid as energy, so it's hard to build up. All right, now that we've learned about lactic acid, everyone do 10 dashes. It's time for some anaerobic exercise. If you produce lactic acid with anaerobic exercise, your body will be clean and mold free. You answer correctly, though you don't feel very pleased about it. Y yay. I, I don't like this. I, I want to go home. Participation. Expression up. Yumi isn't here. The lead role Yumi is supposed to play for the conquerors is being played by the vice president. Can we go to the hospital? You decided to visit the hospital after practice ended. At the municipal hospital hallway. Yumi's sitting there, looking gloomy. Yep. Look, why are you... I was worried about you. Welcome. She looks happier. I'm sorry, you came because I didn't show up to practice, right? from sun up to sun down and she comes here to look after him every day. Burnout. The doctor said it was exhaustion. She'll be released from the hospital soon, but she's pushing herself too far. She's so stupid. Hmm. 
Don't say that about her. My pet. Is that even a word for people like them? Nothing matters anymore. Now I have to look after mom like she looked after him. If I don't quit the drama club and get a job, mom will make herself sick again working all the time. I'm stepping down from my role. Lead role. I had all my lines memorized. My script was full of notes. I practiced by myself all the time. But there's no problem. It's all because of my parents. You're both holding me back. Acting like a child. What do you know? All the pain I went through, we were abandoned. Why do you have to come back now? You stole my child, and now you're stealing my dreams for the future. I can't take this. I just can't take it anymore. She makes an angry face. I'm sorry for complaining like this. It's not like you have anything to do with what's happening in my life. No, it just happens. I do. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound? Uh, yeah. That explains, like, okay, if something's going on, you bet your sweet ass I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm, guys, can I bounce? I'm gonna see what's going on. <laughs> it's nice to hear you say that, though. And you are able to support Yumi in a time of need. You feel that your relationship with Yumi has deepened slightly. Look, I've been through shit like this before. This is really touching on all the spots that I never thought would be touched in my heart, okay? <clears throat> man. <clears throat> Cool. Hmm. Yumi wants off sadly. You decided to go home. I'd be like, yeah, everybody's fucked up. Welcome back. Feel Dojima exerting his authoritative influence on you. So get give up on going out tonight. Dude, what's going on? Why are you give me the look, man? Hey! Uh. I was gonna get familiar with the town, dude! I won't get in touch with my inner common writer. Jackass. Love you too, Uncle. <laughs> you overheard <laughs> students talking. School camp starts next weekend, doesn't it? Alright. It's gonna be all work. I'm not gonna have any fun at all. Yeah, there has to be some way I can ditch this stupid camp. Alright, let's get together and brainstorm ideas on how to get out of this. See, I wish me and Damon did that. <laughs> me and I was like, hey. It was like I could just hear right now. Hey, Ezra, you remember the time we went to Salem? <laughs> it's like, yeah, we were some we were some dumbasses, weren't we? We should have just hopped on that bus as soon as, as soon as they offered to take us back. Like, okay, you know what? We're going back. We're going back. Fuck y'all, we're out. <laughs> Hmm. 
I'm going to take my, I'm going to take myself off a ride today, y'all. Fuck y'all, I'm out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm, I'm going out, y'all. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm heading out. Okay, okay. Yes, 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 yes. I see it. Drama. Drama. Drama! Go to the hospital. You talk with the despondent Yumi for a while. You feel your relationship is going to be closer again soon. Nanako's watching TV, as usual. If you want, you can change the channel. She looked bored. You might as well try a magic trick. Yeah, I see. I'm assuming she's watching curiously. Decided to show her a magic trick. You put the rubber band on your index middle, index and middle finger. You also hook it on the ring finger and pinky without Nanako noticing. What are you doing? When you open up the hand you had closed tight, lightly, the rubber band springs off the index and middle finger, instantly moving over to the ring and pinky. That's called the Spider-Man. Do it again. <laughs> How one more time? She seems to like it anyway. Okay, my turn now. She's laughing cheerfully. Night continues. I want to get no. the... What's up? I'm trying to get a third day, man. <laughs> Wait till you hear this. I finally got a motorcycle. My very own, just like I've been dreaming about. I've been on cloud nine all morning. So why don't we take our motorcycles off for a spin to Okina after school? You know, you once promised you would. Hey, Anna, I'm closer to person. Hey, you remember, that's my partner. Time to put our let's use motorcycles to hit on city girl playing back. I want to make sure I have a girlfriend to spend the summer with this year, don't you? Let's head there as soon as class is laid out. We learn how to be common writers on that day. School camp will be taking place this weekend. Remember, this isn't like ordinary Terry. It's going to be a place of education to wind up the lazy ass minds you get from screwing around all the time. I'll show you what morals are all about. And I'll send home anyone who brings down the morale. You remember that? Shit. Remember it. What? You don't know the difference between morals and morale? Morals are about virtue. Morales, tell me, Hanamora, you seem to be lacking in morales. Damn it, King Moron. I thought I knew, but now I'm just doubting myself. Sorry, go. Tell me what morales are. Morale? Cheerfulness in a group. Guy. Anyway, yes, morale refers to the enthusiasm of a group or an individual within a group. You remember when those weapons were killed? It's sick like that. 
that brings down people's morale and their morals. Hey, baby, that's all. I'll have to do with you. Keep living your eyes on low morals and low morale. What a low thing to say. Thanks, Go. I don't want to think what he'd say if I miss that. Now he's showing tips like me. He's like, like he's getting that, getting that high look like. And now we can go to Okina Station. Hello, Okina Station. That was easier than I thought. So all you needed was twice to ride around. Third, you're instantly at Okina. Followed us all the way here. With a bike. <laughs> that was a breeze. Dude, Kanji, my man. I sweat keeping up with a couple of guys still getting used to their scooters. If I hadn't run out of gas back there, we'd have left you in the dust. I shouldn't have cheaped out on gas just so I could have more money to fool around with. I notice every time I come here, there's a lot of people around. Yeah, if we hang out around here, I bet someone will come talk to us. Actually, uh, mind if I head off for a bit? I gotta take a minute. <laughs> Since I came all the way to Oaken, uh, the, was this craft shop? Oh, that's all? It, it, it's nothing. I'm just, just saying I gotta go buy some stuff. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go do my own thing for a bit, so you guys get started without me. Dude, chill. It's all right, man. Then why'd he come with us? He just wants a place where he can, you know, where he can be alone. Don't worry about it. You're right. Okay, let's get this plan underway. You decided to wait here for a while. Really, summer sunlight feels nice. Alright, three hours passed. Nothing happened. Early summer sunlight beats down. Well, there's two make you guys wait. I couldn't decide which one to get. No luck, huh? Nope. This is so weird. I think someone's watching us from somewhere, though. Operation Babe Hunt 2. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm sure if we hang around a little longer... Dude, the sun's gonna set. We've been hanging around for three hours, dude. I think it's time we packed. Okay? Maybe there's some holes in your plan after all. You're right, we need a third man. Okay, um... My fault? Whose fault? My fault? My fault. My fault, right? Nah, you're fine. Your motorcycle looks cool, and you don't look so bad yourself. Oh, okay. You said every guy needs a motorcycle, but that thing's a scooter. It's a mini motorcycle, okay? I, I'm starting to work my common Rider-ism, okay? I'm trying to fit in, trying to be common Rider Ichigo, okay? Can I, can I do that? Is it like... Not matter what kind of motorcycle it is, as long as you got one? Kanji, the voice of reason right here. Well, it's true that the ones I saw in the magazine were all big motorcycles. You're looking at Kawasaki, weren't you? 
I had a Honda. But that's just how it goes. There's always a gap between a man's dream and cold, hard reality. It usually happens with just about everything you see on TV as well as the internet. Thus, you see me play games like these. An actual good game with um, hardly a bit of um, influence. And if it is, it's a very respectable influence. I can't afford an expensive one. A scooter's the best I can do. Dude, come on now. Senpai, can you give me ten minutes? Not I sure. can't keep quiet if you're getting shut out like this. I'll avenge you guys. Okay. This isn't a fight, you know. No, 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 no. Give this man ten minutes. What are you going to do to avenge us? Hit on some girls? No, 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 no. He, he has a plan. We gonna Hell let... yeah. How else would I fix this? <laughs> you're going to hit on some girls? Dude? Come on. We have motorbikes and we failed. There's no way you could do better. Right? He can do better. Three. Can I, did you say ten? Three. Three. All right. Three. What are you saying? <laughs> Even instant ramen takes five minutes to make. Now that's my senpai. That's what I say. <laughs> so what? What's your answer? Three. <laughs> Let's make this a contest. I'll show you clowns how a real man gets it done. Cool. All right. Calm down. This is turning into something we've all got a stake in. Well, I don't see you stepping up. I stepped up and said, hey, man, <laughs> give me three minutes. <laughs> I mean, do you realize what you're saying? Yes. This means we're the ones that have to approach the girls. So? That just sounds lame. And I doubt it'll go well for us. How do you know? You chicken? That's what I sound like. That's not what I mean. That's what I sound like, dog. All we gotta do is ask them to be our friend. And then make them say yes. And make them say yes. <laughs> Nothing to it. God, you my man. Well, I guess there's nothing to lose. So that's the spirit, senpai. You're senpai now, Yosuke. Get used to it. If I lose, I'll run around the block in nothing but my underwear and those gag glasses Yukiko senpai had. You... You brave fool. We salute you and your noble sacrifice for us getting late. Only girls count for this, all right? You're still stuck on that? Damn it! Hell if I'm gonna lose this! Well, in a strange turn of events, the three of you are having a pickup contest! What? Uh, okay, um. And that guy trying to pick me up was such a loser that nose pi piercing of his made him look like a cow. <laughs> that sounds awful. What do you think he was? Now the beef? Couple flashy high school girls are here. Will you talk to them? Stop. What the hell? Who are you? Are you hitting on us? We're not doing anything, Vanessa. Maybe we can hang out. I haven't seen you around where you live. Um. Kenobi says, what a redneck. That's too funny. I heard Nobby is a dead farm animals that have taken over. Four legs, good, two legs back. Animal farm, really? Really? <laughs> That's like that book. Let me hear you squeal, country boy. Deliverance 2? Don't. OMG, what a prick. We were just kidding around. Yeah, who made you king of the universe? So lame. Let's go home.
bitches. The only thing left is your potential to become great someday. Just look at me. Are you the oldest? Second oldest? What's your family structure like? Do you live in your parents? Do your parents house a rent or do they own? Is it a house or apartment? She has a woman. A woman is just firing rapid fire stream questions. I'm sorry. I just, I just like knowing these things. It's just so as not to give you the third degree here. Let me introduce myself, please. I'm a homemaking assistant by trade, and my hobbies are gardening and traveling. And I'm a grid hip with a 23 year old. Something very strange about what she just said. She really 23. I've really been lonely lately. My bed feels so empty. I played around with guys before, but I can't live my whole life as a teen. I thought I should tell them. Expect the button. I did. <laughs> What's your pick? <laughs> um. That's so sexy. On our anniversaries, you can take me out to eat. Fraser and Talia will be nice. We can split the housework and child care. She winks at me. Oh, you like kids? How many do you want when we get married? I actually have half. I only have. I actually have half of. Wait, you actually have my half of a marriage license? And all filled out and ready to go. I'm game whenever you want. The fuck do you want to sign up? The fuck you say? This seems like a good time to come complain about the fact that you're in high school. <laughs> what? Suck <laughs> your high school bitch to get? Don't make pass at me, you stupid little boy. If you're under 18, you're under my limit. Go talk to someone else. Whoa. You should get up for asking. Yeah, she's too old. Yeah, I ain't doing jack this shit. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, you crazy bitch. Uh, hi there. Hi. What is a cute little boy? What a cute boy like you want with me? Alone. I'm waiting for someone. Are you making a pass at me? I kind of like my voice. And it's adorable. Makes me want to educate them about some things. Hmm. You feel well older than me. I love them. Age means nothing. I see you're full of young and full of young. And, I see you're young and full of energy. I wouldn't mind spending time with you. If you really want to hang out? No, not today. I mean, not if you don't want to. But if you 
but if you want, I can teach you a lot about how to craft this pipe. Thanks for calling, though. One more push and you may be able to get her number. Do you want to play with Shaggy? Yes, please. Yes, Mommy. What will we play? I think it'll be easier to show you than to explain. But I, but I have something to do right now, so this is the best day. Maybe next time. This is your chance to ask her for her phone number. Will you get the digits? Yes, good I will to the word. Alright, here you go. Just for you. Call me, won't you? You got to lay yourself cell phone number. Okay, wait. <laughs> you took more time than expected. You need to meet up with your friends. <laughs> How'd it go? Not as well as I hoped. I thought so. I got rid of three bitches. Oh, but I did get a phone number from some chick who said to give her a call. Does that count? Yeah, that counts. A girl hit on you? What did she say? Something like it only costing so much for an hour. What the fuck? What was she talking about? <laughs> what the How dense are you? There's no way that counts. Gosh, you my man. <laughs> what about you? Did you get anything? I got some. Of course I did. Way to go, partner. Was it her cell? Yep. What kind of girl was it? Come on, you should call her up. Please. Pretty please. What? Please. Stop it. How many times are you going to beg? Really, do. So you're going to call her, right? <laughs> right? You decide to try and call the number you got. <laughs> She picked up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Uh, hello? The fuck? You hear an unfamiliar man's voice on the other end of the line. Who are you? Oh, I get it! It's you! <laughs> you rat bastard! You're a dead oh, shit bird! Fuck. How uh, dare you hit on my girl! I'll rip off your head and spit down your neck! Really? You're, you're going Dr. Detroit on me like that, dude? You better not call again, got it? Wow, where was he when he was recording this? Well, fuck. I can hear him from here. I know, right? Is that dude for real? Apparently. Well, <laughs> that's the risk you take. All right, I'm up next. Last chance. You pulled it off, Yosuke Senpai? If one of us did, we all win. <laughs> of course I did. One phone number right here. Amazing. Man, it wasn't easy, too. She was crazy hot. I just had to push myself a bit and go for a sexy older woman. Oh, you too. Time to give her a call. I hope you guys are ready for this. Hello? It's me. Oh, dear. Yosuke-kun? Yep, the guy who asked you out on a motorcycle ride. Man, I can't wait. Huh? You know my name? Did I tell you? Of course I know your name. Oh, dear. <laughs> we go to the same school. Oh, dear. We do? Well, that's impossible. I mean, you... Wait. That voice. Dude, what, what, what? This is Hanako Otani. Who did you think I was? Oh my god, you sound so old. Uh, how did you get my number? Huh? Do oh god, <laughs> I'm in such deep shit. D did I call the wrong number? One more try. Um, you okay? We did talk, bro? Hello, it's me. Yeah, I know who you are. You really want to go on a date with me that much? <laughs> um, the hell was that? That's two, man. You want you want to swing for three? Sounded like a fiend from the pits of the earth. 
Ugh. You can feel a chill go down my spine. Um, that's Mizuzu from Kunio Kun. <laughs> Forget about it. For your own sake. It's Mizuzu from Kunio Kun. This number is dangerous. It's better that you don't know what that was. No, 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 no. Kanji's our man. He wants to know. He wants to know. Oh, you guys. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's Mizuzu. <laughs> son. Why are you here? <laughs> Fucking with Sensei. The countryside, no place for a girl like me. I was taking a walk, then I suddenly got a phone call. <laughs> when you call the wrong number and oh Jesus um <laughs> You're really into me, aren't you? Motorcycle beat, huh? Um, are you sure you can fit that? Well, if you want to take a ride that bad, I'll go with you. <laughs> are, are you sure your bike can handle that? Rider number two? Rider number two. Oh! <laughs> 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 My motorcycle! <laughs> oh, what's with this scooter? Broken. Your big fat ass destroyed it. If you want to take me out, you've got to do better than that. Oh, uh, with a face like that and an ass like that is not in the good way. Oh, hell no. The best girls don't go steady for nothing, you know. You need to make an effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh god damn oh, man. Am I cursed? Um, you know what? It's better you to me. I, I... Did I insult a gypsy or something? No, 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 no. It, it's better you than me. <laughs> Easy for you to say. I don't even have a way to get home now. Senpai, you fought well. <laughs> you fought well. You fought well after. Oh, God. God, damn. God damn. Fucking. <laughs> God, I'm sorry, man. Oh shit, that's so funny. God damn. When, when you... Mm, I was totally moved by all that. Um... Come on, hop on behind me. I'll get you back home safe. Whoa! Up close and personal! Not like that. I get it now. So this is what your plan was about. <laughs> Oh dear, take him home. Take him home now. Oh, you don't get anything! <laughs> and you're freaking me out! And dude, it's against the law to have two people on a bike. Well, um, you're on a bike, so, um, shut up. It's okay, just put an end to this suffering already. You saw Yosuke off to the station and decided to go home with Kanji. You should be able to come to Okina on your own now. You have enough experience with your scooter. 
Now that's the reason why you had to do that. So you can access Okina. Welcome home! Frozen, but never mind. Never get past that one book. <laughs> but maybe today, maybe today. Oh, good morning, Goku. Still time starts tomorrow. We'll be in the same group, but what should we be cooking for dinner? Hey, why do we get everyone and go buy ingredients after school? We should do that. Okay. I'll be sure to let Chie and Yosuke Kun know then. Because, you know, after school, because nobody cares about class. So we're at Juness. You came with the others to buy ingredients for the cookout tomorrow. What do you put in curry again? Carrots. Potatoes, onions, mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Girl, you mean you don't, you don't even know. Are radishes the same as turnips? You girls don't even know. They're apparently going to make curry. Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. I prefer steak. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. How about ramen and curry? Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Nah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. <laughs> Hmm. Hey, Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Of course you do. Otherwise, the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. There's different kinds of flour. Which one should we get? All purpose? Whole wheat? What? Hmm, whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. That's true. I like my heat. Oh well, let's just get everything that seems right. That seems right? How about some kimchi too? Ooh, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds though, black and white. And red all over. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko! The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Hmm? The hell? Oh yeah, we'll need some special ingredients too to spice things up. I'm never gonna get a chance to read my book. <laughs> I remember seeing something on. 
on TV about that. I think it was um, chocolate, uh, coffee, yogurt. What am I listening to? <gasps> How about mint chocolate? Ooh, I love that stuff. I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. Ice coffee. What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. The fuck? <laughs> so, um, am I gonna get compensated for this? Um, hi? Welcome back. Yeah, hey. Uh, look, um, I. I. What? Mm hmm? Come to think of it. He was looking for a copy of a newspaper article. It seemed important, but what happened to it? You feel that unless your expression is touching, he'll brush you You feel as if your expression will increase faster, allowing you to be more efficient when doing translation work. Uh, <clears throat> Day's first day of the school camp out. Be sure to hurry to the meeting place. School camp. Dusk. All that trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. Dude! You know it's gonna be out of this world. <sighs> you shut me. Oh no way! I'm not falling for that. You just want it all for yourself, huh? I can't wait to dig in. Okay. I have a better cup for you, just let you know. Should we taste this? Oh dear. Oh dear! Huh? Only if you do it first. Are you sure? Oh man, here it comes! This... look... um... Shade, but still awesome. Okay then, chow time. Oh. <laughs> Are you? Sh Did you learn from Kuzuha? Hey. What the hell is this? <laughs> I mean, what kind of? What's supposed to be like 
really spicy or kind of mild. This just stinks. And it's gritty, too. It's somehow both gritty and slimy, and it's got squishy parts in it. What were you cooking? It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. What were you putting in that? Well, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of texture. A wide variety of te What the f- it's, it's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad! Have you tried it? That's just your opinion! Uh, did you try- I'm telling you as a friend, don't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Requires courage. You're being looked at with expectation. I'm going to eat it. You lack the courage to go through with it. I will return to eat it. I will just. Keep... I will pass. Your step. What? Okay, fine. What the? the second you put it in your mouth, you sense that something's wrong. You can tell after one bite that this isn't edible. There's no way you can swallow it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Oh, we're sorry. The fuck? What the? Sorry. No, 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 don't, don't be so, what the fuck? What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. Do look at next door. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Mystery food X? Over there. Something smells good. Look over there. That's right. Hanako. She's eating with her hands. Oh, I don't oh, have wait. any choice. And besides, she owes me, considering what she did to my motorcycle. Are you sure? Are you sure? I mean, it looks like she's eating with her hands, but I see like a little tiny ass fork right there. Like, the fuck? Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Thank you. Come on, give us some. We're begging you. We're starving to death here. <laughs> no way. Bitch. I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. A safe food diet, I say. Whenever you say food, you eat it. I get it. All that you made? It's like a bucket full. Oh, shit. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. Some DiGiorno? But our cell phones don't get service up here. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Dude, did you have to yell in my ear? Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. Eat what? It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, off to bed! Lights out! What? What? Um, Mr. Moron, is there something you have to tell us here? <laughs> Wait, is that for teachers to have some booze? Like, you guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. Damn. Inside your tent. Damn it. A 
I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. Oh. That that's the hard that's that's the hardest one right there. Damn. And the first year's ten is all quiet. Like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Mm. Is it just you two in this tent? Just us, yep. The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? Dude. You're one of us, man. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. You wanna do that? All right, all right, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. <clears throat> I've rolled down the hill in my sleep. What? If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. That was a rule, dog. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? Oh, yeah, him. That guy stopped me outside earlier and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school. When he doesn't know shit about any of that. Now some people that are like that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Hurdles, man. Hurdles. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. Oh, 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 oh. You don't speak ill of the dead. I don't know. Maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. He's not even a teacher. He He's basically pissing me off, too. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Yeah, dude. Animal cracker? <laughs> Quit the... <laughs> Those are mine! Oh, oh, damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Huh? Penguin? You ate the penguin. The secret <laughs> animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Um... Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. The things that are going on in this part... Oh, well. Uh, this isn't gonna fill me up. <sighs> Let's just go to sleep. With empty stomachs and nearly the ambition to shit on themselves. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Don't really, dude. Kanji, don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. He learns very, very fast. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. What? Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? Mm. <laughs> I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. You're the new guy, after all. We need to know. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Gay? Am I really what? He's asking if you're gay, dude. What I mean is, um, 
Are we gonna be safe alone <laughs> with you? Damn! Can't you just say, are you gay? That's the real question. What? <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Yeah, okay. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? Yosuke, you shouldn't have said... That's just more suspicious. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now, I'm... Well, how do I put it? Uh... Oh, God, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out. I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? Oh, Jesus. Prove it? Oh, Jesus. Because if you can't, we're going to be stuck here all night, half scared to death. You are. I'm just gonna go right the fuck to sleep. <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girls' tent right now. What? <laughs> Wait. Well, that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. D dude. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. <laughs> yeah, like that stuff a man like me. Um. Seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him. <laughs> Don't do this. You try to convince Kanji not to go through with it. No! You have went from persuasive to touchy. But he's not listening. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. That kind of, kind of, dude, dude, dude. To hell with King Moron. No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it. Tatsumaki Senpu Kaku. Uh, hey, wait! Kanji Tatsumaki Senpu Kaku. Tatsumaki. myself not responsible for anything that happens. I warn them. Meanwhile inside Chie and Yukiko's tent. <sighs> now I get why we're the only three in here. We can't sleep. Oh, I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. And you would have basically said, Oh, I got the shits. It might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh. We can't sleep. We can't walk around. We can't take a piss. We can't take a shit. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago he... That is just annoying as fuck right now. That does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? What? No, 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 Yukiko, no! What? Oh, I can't take it anymore. Oh, Jesus, this is, this is getting too funny. <gasps> Who, who's there? Um, this is awkward. Meanwhile, back at our tent. Hey, are you guys still up? Huh? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side. Let us in. Don't be ridiculous. If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled. Go back to your tent. We can't. Hmm. Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? Oh, all right, hurry up and get in. We're just talking. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. 
he's out cold. What? I, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then, and then he, he fainted all of a sudden. What? That's all, right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there, and you know, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. That sounds very awkward. Did he faint on somebody? Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things. And he sounds drunk as a fucking skunk. It's him. He's right outside. Hey, turn the light off. Mm. You can sense King Moron getting closer. Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! Yes, you drunk fuck. We're here. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. <laughs> Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> <sighs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. What'd I tell you? Drunk as a fucking skunk. Seems that the king moron left. <sighs> Here goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke! We were nearly expelled! Hey, this is you guys' fault! Wh what else are we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now! We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow! Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? You better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? What funny stuff? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. You set up a barricade inside the tent using everyone's belongings. You spent the night cramped up in a tight space. What the fuck? <laughs> Next day, students were all dismissed in the morning. Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? Oh, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It was that bad. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. It, it was a dream. Must have been a dream. Okay. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? Then I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, 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 whoa! We're not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but... Show us the goods. Oh, yeah! We don't have swimsuits with us. Man, of all the lot. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. Got a point there. No, it's really too bad. 
It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> if you just had a swimsuit? Ta-da! I've got you covered. Do! <laughs> the Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. Do! <laughs> Yo, get you my hero, man. I had a clerk friend of mine choose him for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Yosuke has to hook up. Dude, that's just wrong. No, it isn't. That's basically saying you've got hookups. Did you have those this whole time? Good lord, I hope you didn't. Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. Yeah, you did say that. You, you did say that. You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. Keep pushing that button, man. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. I don't have to say shit, but... Already, you just never let things go. Yeah, I know. Payback's a bitch, isn't it? Alright, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Come on, let's get in. Look at that. You even make kanji blush. Look at that. Look at that. Stop staring like that. Think we can't help you. Hey. Hey yourself. You two look cute. They both seem embarrassed. Good! Man, this is going even better than I expected! Kinda makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. Oh yeah, this, this is this is eye candy. I'm glad I'm going for like two freaking hours for this. Come on, you guys gotta admit I chose some good suits. They're fashionable and affordable. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're gonna turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Mm-hmm. Don't you think so? Mm-hmm. You have a point there. You guys crossed the line. Definitely. Ow. You didn't have to push us in. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. I am in the river now. I understand it all. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji Kun? Hey, you look awful quiet. Are you feeling okay? D don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still. Uh. What? Oh, good lord! <laughs> oh, please! That's a nose bleed! Ew! Damn! <laughs> that was close. It was a nose bleed, girl, goddamn! What was that for? I didn't do anything! He just had a nosebleed. Hey, what's gotten into you? Huh? Do you hear something over there? You hear a man heaving upstream. 
Oh! It seems that King Moro's vomiting further up the river. Oh. So that's why no one else was here. Good thing you noticed before we went in. Oh, oh, oh. Senpai. The fuck, dude? Don't say it. You feel as though a million showers will never make you clean. You will never be fully clean ever again. <laughs> I hope I... Oh, welcome home, big bro. Hi. How was school, Cap? I size not it's uh it's size and feel terrible. I gave you a break. I, I need a moment. Oh I need a moment. After this, damn, will stop. You have the day off from school today. You wonder when it'll rain at night again. What should you do today? You realize that you hadn't bought anything from the home shopping program this week. Maybe you should watch it. Three of you are sitting at the table, and the entertainment news shows on. That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. So now we're going to get Risei next. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please! The press conference has erupted into chaos. Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> Calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Uh -huh. Oh yeah, shopping districts seem different today when I was passing by. Like everyone was really hustling more than usual. Wonder what's going on. Smell the case. Man, smell. You sound like Teddy. It seemed like the cops were involved in what was there though. Guess I'll try asking around at school.
Yeah. What's up? Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. Yeah, it sucks ass, doesn't it? Man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. We're never going to forget how it happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So, hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz? I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. See? Perfect blue. Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. See that popular? Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut, but at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. Never. First time he has never heard of this, this chick. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! A cutie pie? What are you, 80? 65, but who's counting? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. Then you said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Mariku? Mariku. Mariku? Mariku. Mariku tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Risei if I go to her tofu shop? Oh, boy. Can I meet her, too? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Yeah, I want to see her, too. Did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Risa started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Risa be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamano. They've just been on the same show once or twice. Still? She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. Thus making her a target. And she is moving here after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. Mm -hmm. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Rise is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who've been shown on TV recently. Get it now? And Kanji was the last person, or the most recent, that was shown up on TV before recent. Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Risa does. How close are we talking? Does that mean we have to watch her take a pee? Let's do it! You're a little too happy there, sir. Sheesh, he's all pumped up. Morning, because nobody cares about early morning. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the proof, and the end of the chapter, too. So, I've heard all the gossip going around about Risei Kuchikawa. These idols don't have normal people problems. They have money. They'll never have to compromise in marriage. <sighs> what should I make for dinner tonight? <clears throat> But you know, June's bonus month. That's fine, but it's a bit happier right now. They say that Japan first implemented the bonus during the Meiji era. What a wonderful culture. Hey, are you listening to me? I'm talking about a wonderful culture. Especially you, Nagai Kun, you're looking bored. Uh, 
Damn. What period did Japan first implement bonus pay? Major. That's how you were listening. That is correct. Japan began issuing bonuses during the Meiji period. Some of the pictures. Join me! So, you, you're all ignoring me, thinking I'm just chit-chatting it. Well, now, this is gonna be on the test. Yay. Seems to be acting strangely. Maybe you should attend drama after school today. You have no choice but to wait for another rainy night. But I have no choice but to do the phone, which is. Drop a save right here. For in the next part, after 14 days, yeah, it was long as 14 days are known within two hours. In the next part, we're gonna focus and turn our attention to Resay. So, stay tuned, more of P4G right after this. Thanks so much for watching.